Well, hallelujah and blessings, friends. Welcome back to High Kadosh Ministries, where holiness is a way of life. And Jesus is to be praised as King and Lord forever and ever. And together the people of God say, hallelujah. How are you this morning? I pray that your soul is full of glory. And if not, by the time that we end this morning, I believe you will be bursting with joy. Now we are continuing our study on the book of First Enoch, and today we're going to begin the third parable. I have placed a link in the description box so that you can follow along with us. So if you have that in front of you and your Bible, please open to chapter 58 and let's begin together. And I began to speak the third parable concerning the righteous and elect. Blessed are ye, ye righteous and elect, for glorious shall be your lot. And the righteous shall be in the light of the sun, and the elect in the light of eternal life. The days of their life shall be unending, and the days of the holy without number. And they shall seek the light and find righteousness with the Lord of spirits. There shall be peace to the righteous in the name of the eternal Lord. And after this, it shall be said to the holy in heaven, that they should seek out the secrets of righteousness, the heritage of faith. For it has become bright as the sun upon earth, and the darkness is past, and there shall be a light that never ends, and to a limit or a number of days that shall not come. For the darkness shall first have been destroyed, and the light established before the Lord of Spirits, and the light of our brightness established forever before the Lord of Spirits. Now it is my hope, just as you have to prime an old pump to get the water gushing, that that is what this chapter has done for you. You have begun to sense the waters of life beginning to burst within you. So let's go back and look at this chapter and break it down one more time because this chapter is full of hallelujahs and praises to King Jesus. Now he says in verse one, I began to speak the third parable concerning the righteous and the elect. This is for a very specific group of people to those who are righteous, obedient, faithful, and those who have been elected, preordained, chosen by the Lord himself. And it says in verse two, blessed, happy, full of joy are ye, ye righteous and elect for glorious shall be your lot. Glorious shall be your destination. What awaits you goes beyond human explanation. And as you begin to ponder these things, imagine these things, you should begin to experience the joy of the Lord because there is nothing but blessing and bliss awaiting you. And you, the righteous, shall be in the light of the sun. Now in our text, it says the light of the sun, S-U-N, but I want to replace that with the light of the S-O-N, sun. Because if you look at Revelation chapter 22, verse 5, it says, There will be no night there, and they have no need of a candle, neither the light of the sun. For the Lord God giveth them light, and they shall reign forever and ever. So the light of the eternal God, his glory will light the kingdom of heaven. And Jesus, who reigns upon earth, will light the new earth. And so again, it says in verse 3, The righteous shall be in the light of Jesus, and the elect in Jesus, who is eternal life. Now the days of their life shall be unending, and the days of the holy without number. And they will seek the light, who is Jesus, and they will find righteousness with the Lord of Spirits. Our righteousness is in what Jesus did for us, what he accomplished for us. We are not righteous in and of ourselves. Nothing we do, no matter how good we think it is, is righteous enough for Jesus. But it is his beauty, his glory, his innocence, his purity that we find our righteousness in. Enoch goes on to say, there shall be peace to the righteous in the name of the eternal Lord. Now, friends, we may experience moments of peace here on earth, moments of tranquility in the spirit here on this earth, but it is nothing like what awaits us. There will be no anxiety. There will be no worry. There will be no stress. We will live in eternal peace in the righteousness of the eternal Lord. 
And after this, in verse five, it shall be said to the holy in heaven, to us, that they should seek out the secrets of righteousness, the heritage of faith. And so what this is telling us here is that the, the story, the complete puzzle is going to be laid out in front of us from the very beginning to the very end of what God's plan was for men from the beginning. And these are secrets of righteousness that are contained within the mind of the Father, and we will seek them out, and we will understand what it was truly all about. All the questions that we have will be answered. Nothing will be hidden. Nothing will be in the dark anymore. It has become bright as the sun upon the earth. All will be revealed to us. And as we better understand the story, the redemption story of Jesus, why he had to come, why he had to die, why he had to shed his blood, our hearts will be more full of praise and adoration because even though we think we understand now and that fills our hearts full of praise, once we understand the complete picture, eternity won't be long enough to worship him, to adore him, to praise him and to love him. Why? Because the darkness is past and there shall be a light that never ends. The eternal light of the sun, S-O-N, and all of creation will bow before him and confess that truly he is King of kings and Lord of lords and the only one worthy of such adoration and praise. It says to a limit, to a number of days, they shall not come. We shall live eternally before him. For the darkness shall first have been destroyed. And the light who is Jesus will be established before the Lord of Spirits. And the light of uprightness established forever before the Lord of Spirits. And together the people of God cry, Hallelujah! Hallelujah! And if you're not dancing before the Lord yet, friends, I don't know what you're waiting on. Well, let's begin with chapter 59. It's going to slow things down a little bit. It says, In those days mine eyes saw the secrets of the lightnings and of the lights and the judgments. They execute their judgment and they lighten for a blessing or a curse as the Lord of Spirit wills. Now, if you'll recall in Job chapter 37, verse 13, we discussed previously, God allows these calamities upon planet earth for one of three reasons. For correction, for the land, or for mercy. And we broke those down in a previous video, so I won't spend a lot of time on it this morning, but that's what we're being reminded of here by Enoch again. Now he says in verse two, I saw the secrets of the thunder and how when it resounds above in the heaven, the sound thereof is heard. And he caused me to see the judgments executed on the earth, whether they be for well-being and blessing or for a curse, according to the word of the Lord of Spirits. And after that, all the secrets of the lights and lightnings were shown to me, and they lightened for blessing and for satisfying. Now, the next time we're together, we're going to pick up in chapter 60, but I want to go back one more time, and I want to look at chapter 58. And I want you to close your eyes, listen to these words, and let this just resound in your spirit as a gong of truth. And I trust that you will be lifted into the heights of glory as you attempt to understand all that the Lord has done, is doing, and will do for us. First Enoch chapter 58 verse 2, blessed, happy, full of joy are you the obedient and the faithful to the Lord God most high. For glorious shall be your destination and the righteous shall be in the light of the Lord Jesus and the elect in the light of the Lord Jesus eternally. The days of their life will be without ending, and the days of the holy without number. And they will seek Jesus and find righteousness with the Lord of Spirits. There shall be peace to the righteous in the name of the eternal Lord. And after this, it shall be said to the holy in heaven that they should seek out the secrets of righteousness, the heritage of faith. For it has become bright as the sun upon the earth, and the darkness is past. All will be open, all will be revealed, and there will be a light that never ends in the Lord Jesus. And to a limit or a number of days, you will not come. 
For the darkness has been destroyed and Jesus has been established before the Lord of Spirits forever and ever before the Lord of Spirits. Has this taken you above your problems, friends? Has this lifted you above your troubles? Have you excelled past your worry, anxiety, and fear this morning? I trust that you have, because these are the promises to those who are faithful to the Most High, and He cannot lie. This is what is termed as the hope of glory, friends. This is what we are longing for. This is what we are waiting for. And so as the troubles of this life try to creep into your soul, remind yourself of passages such as these, because as we were reminded today in the book of First Enoch, glorious shall be your lot. Glorious shall be your destination. May your walk with Jesus be blessed today, friends. May your eyes be open to truth and may your ears be open to his voice as he leads you and guides you throughout this day. I truly love you, friends. Now, as Yahweh wills, and until tomorrow, I'll see you on the next video.